There's the next one, Harry. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. The auras have opened this part of the castle now. Come on, let's get a Slughorn's party. Incendio! to this part of the castle in my sleep. I sleepwalk, you see. That's why I wear shoes to bed. Harry, my boy, glad you came. There are so many people I want you to meet. Professor Slughorn, there's no one else here. Of course not. And a good job, too. We're not ready yet, not in the least bit ready. That's where I could do with a spot of help. I'm sure you and Miss, uh, uh... Lovegood. Here, we'll soon get the place in shape. I was going to rustle up a party punch for my guests, but time has not been willing. Could you mix something for me, perhaps?
very simple. from the gods. A taste of sunshine and happiness. I knew you were the man for the job, my boy. Our guests are here. Stop there, Potter. I only wish to convey a message. Professor Dumbledore asked me to give you his best. You see, he's traveling and won't return until term resumes. Traveling? Where? Take your hands off me, you filthy squib. No, no, Mr. Filch. What is all this fuss about? Okay, okay. I was gate crashing. Happy. I'll escort him out. What were you doing there? I don't have to tell you anything. Get your lesson, Potter. Ten points from Gryffindor for skulking about. What were you doing there? I don't have to tell you anything. Push me around. I am trying to help you. You just want to steal my glory. Keep your voice down. Maybe I did hex that Katie Bell girl. Maybe I didn't. What's it to you? I swore to protect you. I made the unbreakable vow. I don't need protection. I was chosen. This is my moment. Bloody hell. You don't think Snape was just pretending? No. He even said he'd taken an unbreakable oath. The unbreakable vow? Yeah. What happens if you break an unbreakable vow? You die. Everyone gone to bed? I don't sleep these days, so I wash my hair. Silly, right? Happy Christmas, Harry. Bellatrix! <laughs> Harry! Harry! Hello.
chase her! She killed Sirius! Ginny! I'm okay! Where are you? Keep running! I'll find you! Come to play, Harry. Beautiful! You're lucky you weren't killed, mate. And thanks for, you know, Ginny. If you'd not got there, I could have had a werewolf for a sister. Uh, yeah, yeah no problem. Dad said he checked Borgen and Burks. He said Malfoy was looking at a vanishing cabinet. A vanishing cabinet? What would he want with one of those? Dunno. But Dad said it was still there in the shop. He's up to something. I just don't know what it is. Hi, Harry. Ron. Harry, I think Professor Slughorn is having another party for invited guests. Slug club? Maybe Slughorn can make you and Clag and King and Queen slug. See you, Harry. Hermione, have you seen Malfoy doing anything suspicious? Oh, really, Harry? Are you still worried about Draco? Ron told me his dad found out Malfoy was looking at a vanishing cabinet in Borgen and Burke's. But there's no way he could sneak a vanishing cabinet into the castle. The Auras are searching everyone who comes in. They're even checking the outpost. Then you tell me how he disappears off the Marauder's map. I I'll show you. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. He's there, in the seventh floor corridor. So? He's not disappeared then, has he? But sometimes he does vanish completely. I'm going to find out what he's up to. I'm going to the seventh floor. What's that I hear? Sounds like a scoop to me. Hot news goes cold fast. You better use my shortcut. Just say, happy headlines. Do you really think you'll find anything, Harry? Yes. I'll prove he's up to something.
Wingardium Leviosa. Reparo. Happy headlines, Death Eaters sent to Azkaban. That's a happy headline. Hello, Nick. Uh, have you seen Draco Malfoy anywhere? Not today, no, but I have seen him many times in the seventh floor corridor of it. Maybe you should try that. We arrive! 